Every day, my body, my mind and my spirit say to me, guide me, take me into my cave. And within this cave, I experience mind and body rejuvenation. Great satiation comes about from the variety of relaxation that you get when in your cave. Now, probably, I'm the only person who has a cave of their own. Inform me if it's otherwise. But this cave is available to me every day. And so you may get to thinking, oh, I don't have a cave. So, I mean, how can I get this rejuvenation that you talk about, Aaron? You know, give us something that, you know, we can do, we can get. Well, you see, this is the beautiful part of it. Because this cave is a real cave. But I'm talking about the metaphorical cave. You see, within this cave, there is an open expanse. Effectively, that's what caves are. They're holes filled with nothing. And so, when I'm talking about my cave, I'm talking about a hole filled with nothing. And this hole filled with nothing can be entered via deep meditation. Now, I've done many videos about meditation and I've tried many ways to point people in the right direction. And yet I still get many people saying to me, oh, I just can't do it. Well, the thing is about people that say, I just can't do it. Well, what they're saying really is that I'm just gonna give up on myself because I'm not a trier, I'm, I'm a non-achiever. To be fair, I've never achieved anything really in my life. Meditation, it's too far beyond me. You know, after all, I mean, what have I got to do? Sit in a room on my own and be quiet for how long an hour? This guy's crazy. Okay, so for those of you that say can't, well, you'll never know what you're passing by what you're giving away. You'll never know the true nature of the self. When you get in touch with the all that there is, the void of consciousness, of awareness. And the reason why I've walked a mile down here to this cave because I had an inspiration come when I was in my apartment and I had to do it because I wanted to make this video for you guys. And it seems I didn't have much of a choice because if I didn't come then I would feel a loss. I would feel as if I missed an opportunity to reach you in some way. When people are looking for answers, what's the answers, what's the answers? This is one of the answers. I'm gonna be talking about answers now because I'm finally narrowing some of them down. But I'm telling you now, people, that if you don't meditate, if you don't put the time and the effort into it, you will never know the potential of you. You will never know this beautiful expanse. You will never know this arena which you can go into any time you choose to get a holistic rejuvenation. There are many, many times, not every time, many times when I meditate, be it 
to a mantra, be it just close my eyes and empty my mind, or be it to some sort of meditation music. Whether I fall asleep at some stage, it doesn't matter. Fall asleep because you're tired. Enjoy the sleep. 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour. Then when you are refreshed and your mind's clear, then it'll enable you even better to meditate. Because you won't be tired and you'll be completely relaxed because your body's been asleep for however long. That's the easiest time in the world. People say to me, oh, what if I fall asleep as if it's some big deal? I can't get my head around the, the, the level of people's in intellect. Seriously. Because all you have to do is watch a few 10 minute videos and you should be able to have had these silly notions obliterated and you should be able to know what to do. But it, it, it's incredulous that people can just never get over the tiniest of things. And so it seems then that this beautiful all-knowing awareness isn't for everybody. It's only for those who seek. Seek God and you shall find. This is what God is, people. The God within you. That's the metaphor. And so there's so much speak these days, people making videos about the God dwelling within you. We're having a turnaround now on the whole planet, slowly but surely, whereby many, many people are conceding now that we are an actual fact God. God is within every one of us human beings and we are within God as I spoke about yesterday in one of the videos. We are God consciousness. We are dreams within God consciousness. We are being dreamed and yet, as a whole, we are the dreamer. And so when you go into this meditation, you enter the master's domain. You enter unto the Lord because you enter into the abyss of consciousness, pure, unadulterated consciousness and awareness and it feels marvellous and when you've been there and when you come back you feel fantastic. In these trying times I need to enter my cave on a daily basis because I'm carrying a lot of weight with all of this research that I'm doing, with all of the videos I'm making, and with all of the responses I'm giving and all of the comments I'm reading, all of the Skype sessions I'm engaging in. My mind is full of this stuff for the better part because that's what I do. I'm a thinking person. But the difference is, you see, between me and probably most people is that my thoughts are constructive. I have an ability to decipher the wheat from the chaff. And I can rationalize the irrational. I can decipher the undecipherable. And I can conclude, and that's what I do in my videos, I have conclusions which then I give to you, the viewer. Lots of people, I have known many, 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 they have an issue with thinking because they are not actually thinking. They are in a state of mind bending repetition, whereby the same old thoughts and the same old issues and the same old problems just fly around with inside the mind at such a busy rate that no other thoughts are allowed to enter and so therefore these people are very poor problem solvers and these people find it very very difficult to meditate 
because they can't eradicate their thoughts because they can't come up with the answers. And the reason why they can't come up with the answers is because they haven't acquired the knowledge. So you see, it's a vicious circle. It's the knowledge that we all have to attain. And it's via the knowledge of meditation which enables me to do what I do. Because when I'm in a deep meditation and my mind is completely nurtured and nourished and has been free of any thoughts which are taking precedent within it, then other more subtle thoughts are allowed to permeate, to make manifest. And very often they're beautiful snippets of wisdom. And I bring these wisdoms into this reality and then I impart them. But if you can't find the time, if you say can't, if you don't try, 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 then you will never attain wisdom. You will never attain the extent of knowledge which is required to be wise. You can read all the math and science that you want and you can think you're pretty smart. In certain areas, you may have a lot of knowledge, but you won't be wise. And there's a great difference between having the acquisition of knowledge and having wisdom, because wisdom depends on the variety of knowledge that you've acquired. You need a very, very broad spectrum of knowledge so you can see the whole world, the whole universe, the whole you, everything holistically. Because if you don't have any of the pieces, then you can't make the picture, can you? And that's how it is. And so, for those of you, now, you should be really looking for the answers. This is one of the most powerful answers. And you really have to get down to business on this. Find yourself a free hour. Find yourself a piece of solitude whether you have to go out in nature, whether you, you, you go and sit in the bathroom, whether you sit in your car, whatever you do, you go there and you try not to think. Now, I'm going to give you a mantra, which is a beautiful, peaceful, flowing mantra. I use, and the reason why I use it is because it's very, very fluid and it's soft. And this mantra is Shyam. Shyam. Shyam, Shyam, and you say it in your mind. Even people ask me, do I say it out loud? You say it in your mind, over and over and over, for as long as it takes, maybe the whole hour, maybe whatever the duration of your meditation is, you say it until your mind cannot be bothered to say it anymore. You see, the purpose of having a mantra is that it doesn't allow other thoughts then to permeate and to become prominent. Lots of thoughts are going to try and some of them will take over and you'll find yourself thinking, but bring it back. Shyam, 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 shit, my wife just ran off with next door neighbour. Damn, never mind. Shy am, shy am, shy am. Um, my creditors are just foreclosed on me because uh, my business is rubbish and uh, I'm in a lot of shit. Oh dear, shy am, shy am, shy am. Believe it or not, people, when you enter into God's kingdom, you'll discover that it's far more important than any of that stuff you've been worrying about. And this is one of the, the crazy things about this world. When you attain this inner peace, when you know what you are, when you know you are in contact with God consciousness, then everything else physical just seems pathetic. <clears throat> and so, you just have to keep trying. And if you fall asleep, great. Get the rest, you obviously need it. Then when you wake up, Shyam, 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 and you'll discover that your mind goes like this. Shyam, Shyam, Shyam. Until in the end, 
it's too tired, it's too bored to say that and you'll find a stillness a beautiful stillness that's what we're looking for in the initial stages you may just touch on that for a couple of seconds but when you know it, when you're there you'll know what it is and how to get back to it again in subsequent occasions and you'll be hungry for it but don't be trying too hard because you won't get it every time you just relax you just go into it and you say your mantra this is one of the answers to what it's all about and it's one of the very very if not the most fundamental because unless you can clear your mind unless you can replenish your mind unless you can get rid of these ridiculous incessant thoughts you will never have a problem solving mind so therefore you will never be able to solve any of your problems you will never be able to uh, acquire the knowledge in a rational way which you can use and you can archive and you can call upon it and you can structure it as long as you're under this pressure of all this shit that's been going round and round and round and round then this kingdom of God will elude you elude you, elude you, elude you so I hope this has been of some use to you people and I really do hope that you apply it because as I've said it's fundamental it's paramount you, 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 you have to have this because if you don't have this then you're just not going to have all the rest of it uh, which comes out of it all the marvelous inspiration all the, the, the capacity for philosophizing and for structuring and for rationalizing all this comes out of a very calm mind if you've got a stressed mind you know what it's like you can't think about anything straight you can't solve any problems you get all in the tiffy you see how it is so believe me when I say this and if you haven't started already then commence on this because you're going to need it you're going to need to be able to apply yourself and you're going to need this inner sanctuary to alleviate the stress that we're under now and that is coming because when you meditate on a regular basis holistically you are karma you just are physically and mentally karma it's like a tranquilizer it, it brings you down to a very very settled disposition a premise which you can start from which is a very sound one which allows you to think to see to hear to quantify to calculate to philosophize it's the purity of a calm mind this is what we have to achieve hope you enjoyed my cave bye for now